Okay, so it's obvious what this video is about, and uh, if you're wondering why I have an annoying watermark in the middle of the video, it's because people stole my work before. Before I get started, I want to clear up some confusion you might have about hacking your Wii. When people talk about hacking, unlocking, or soft modding a Wii, they usually all mean the same thing, which is installing the homebrew channel onto the Wii. I'll always refer to this process as hacking to keep things simple, even though soft modding would probably be the best definition. I say this because all we'll be doing is modifying the Wii's software by installing the homebrew channel and some other stuff with an SD card. So this means we're not going to be taking apart our Wii, installing a mod chip, or anything crazy like that. That would be hard modding. Alright, so what is the homebrew channel? The homebrew channel is a Wii channel that lets you load homebrew applications from an SD card. The most popular applications are the USB loaders like USB Loader GX, which allow you to play downloadable Wii games from a USB drive. Okay, so we need to install the homebrew channel, and to do that, you'll need to use an exploit that allows you to install it from an SD card, such as Indiana Pones. So basically, this method is gonna use the Indiana Pones exploit to install the homebrew channel so you can then use USB Loader GX to play games from a USB drive. To do this, visit hackityourself.info and read my Easy Wii Hacking PDF guide. It's a complete 6 part guide that walks you through the entire process step by step including how to download free Wii games and import them into a USB drive. Along with it are step by step video instructions you can watch in case the PDF guide is unclear. As a demonstration, I'm going to also show you how to play Call of Duty Black Ops online using this method. This method works with any Wii version, any color, and you'll be able to play about 97.4% of all existing Wii games with USB Loader GX. This method is also break free, meaning it won't screw up your Wii in any way. And the best part about this is the software, guide, and video instructions for hacking your Wii are completely free. Unfortunately for me though, I wasted $30 buying a hacking guide from the people behind Wii Unlock Plus. I pretty much got scanned because I didn't have to pay for that information and software since they're all free over the internet. So to get back at them, I made a better free version of it for the public on my site. So if you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll respond as soon as I can. Alright, thanks for watching and enjoy your soon to be hacked Wii.